Hi, folks. Chris Voss here from the ChrisVossShow.com, the ChrisVossShow.com. Come to the blog, the blog post we want to share with you. And of course, we review the latest in social media and technology. Uh, we've been doing versus comparisons between the latest uh, edition of the iPhone, the iPhone 5, versus the Samsung Galaxy S3. Both are AT&T devices. This is my personal AT&T phone. And thank you, AT&T.com, for providing the Samsung Galaxy S3 for us to test and review on. Uh, be sure to check out their website at the AT&T.com. Um, anyway, in our reviews that we've been doing, make sure you subscribe to them on YouTube and the ChrisVossShow.com. We get the phones from all major carriers, so you want to tune in for reviews when we get the hottest and latest phones. Um, on these, we've noticed there's a significant screen lag to the Samsung Galaxy S3 US edition. Um, I, we've heard that it's relative also to the international version, although we, won't have that, we don't have that uh, confirmed. So uh, we've heard that from several sources, but I've never seen it. So uh, take that under advisement. But <clears throat> there is a significant lag. With the iPhone 5, you have a very smooth scrolling process. So let's go ahead and show you the difference, and hopefully you can pick this up as we go through the screen. You can see here, and I'm just paging up the screen, you can see here there's a lag, a jerkiness to the uh, Galaxy S3. Major difference when it comes to the quality of viewing web pages or viewing just about anything else that there is in how the experience is. Now you can see here the US version of the Galaxy S3 benchmarks below the uh, iPhone 5, but <clears throat> let me show you something that's very interesting that we also uh, found as we went through this process. If you turn on the power saving mode, of the Samsung Galaxy S3 if you utilize that feature. Take a look at what this does to the screen lag problem that we've seen. <clears throat> gets significantly worse. As you can see, it gets very worse once you go to the power saving mode. Uh, it gets very jerky, um, whereas the iPhone 5 tends to move very smooth on its scrolling. You can see here that we can just hit it and it will just keep rolling where if we just kind of hit the uh, S3 you can see the jerkiness there it's very evident in the uh, power saving mode let's go and turn off the power saving mode again <clears throat> and what we're going to do is we're going to go into Twitter and show you that this isn't an app specific problem uh, this actually goes across most of the apps that we were able to test it on <clears throat> excuse me so we'll go to the top here of my mentions, see if we can get everybody all tuned in at the same time. And now we've got the power saving feature off, so let's go ahead and page down and see how this goes. Whoops. So we're going to page down. You can see here there's some jerkiness that's uh, still evident in the S3, um, so it doesn't appear to be an app thing. Uh, if I take and just, if I take and just push you can see here some of the chain differences between the two um, and I don't think that's going to show us much of what of what the uh, lag is going to take and do but you can see here how much smoother the scrolling is on the iPhone 5 it tends to want to stop uh, on the S3 where on the iPhone 5 it tends to want to roll and just have a nice little uh, cruise about and it'll keep rolling where the S3 tends to want to stop when we do stuff so <clears throat> you can test it both that way let's go ahead and uh, change to the power saving mode and see what sort of difference that gives us between the two devices and on Twitter uh, let's go to there we go so it should be all loaded up here you can see here that it definitely is more evident uh, on the screen with the lag uh, when we're paging down and trying to go through stuff. Um, it's definitely much more smoother on the on the uh, on the iPhone 5. So, real big difference there. Let's take a look at another app so that we can uh, be sure to compare several different things here. We'll go into my Path app on both devices, uh, and I think you'll be able to see some of the changes here. Now we're still in power saving mode. Keep in mind. Let's go down through the lag and see what if you can notice it here. See how it's just beautifully scrolling. And I'm releasing this about the same time and about the same way from left to right where I'm just letting it go so it can spin. I'm giving it about the same velocity. You can see the lag there is very evident in this app. 
Now let's go to um, turning off the power saving mode. And we're going to take and go back into path. Uh, like I said, we tried this in a number of different apps. We're just going to give you a small sampling. Uh, and we found that the lag is pretty evident uh, in uh, the S3. So let's take a look here. Let's see if we can get to the top of our of our area there. Scroll to the top. There we go. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to try the lag without the uh, power saving mode in place. And I'm just going to give a little push if I can. Um, you can see here the real difference in the in the scrolling between the two devices. I suppose if I want to give it a RAM, it'll it'll all just rock and roll through. Um, so definitely a difference when you look at paging through devices and it's serving to the screen here. You can see more of it here between the two um, and how they do. So we're very surprised by this. Um, screen lag on the uh, Galaxy S3. Never really noticed it until something better came out on the iPhone 5. Uh, so be sure to check it out. You can decide which phone's course better to you. Uh, go to AT&T.com. Be sure to check out their website. We love both these phones. In fact, it's very uh, hard for me to discover that there's that much screen lag between the two devices, especially if you're using the uh, energy saving mode. Thanks for coming by the ChrisVossShow.com. Uh, be sure to check back often. Be sure to subscribe to our videos so you can see them on the Chris Voss Show uh, YouTube channel, and we'll be doing more for you. Thanks for coming by.